What is going on you guys? Nick here with another video. Today I'm going to show you how to get Google Play services working in Graphene OS. Now I've not yet made a video showing how to install Graphene OS because I've seen several of them out there already and Graphene also makes it very very easy to do this by following their web tutorial slash web tool. Uh, I got started with Graphene OS back before they had the web tool, but hey, I think it's a great way for more mainstream people who aren't as technically inclined to get this sort of operating system on their device. Uh, quick review of Graphene OS, uh, it's a fantastic little operating system. Uh, very security hardened, very nice, very clean. My battery life has gone up significantly. I'm running it on a Pixel 5. I used to get maybe two days. I'm not a super heavy phone user. I used to get about two days of battery life with my phone, and now I can easily go four or five just because there's not so much garbage running in the background. Uh, I do tend to keep Bluetooth and location turned off as well, which certainly improves battery life. So uh, using things like the Aurora Store, you can get applications that are somewhat closed source. Uh, I use open source versions of applications for pretty much everything. Uh, the only closed source application I still have is Spotify, uh, working on a way to get rid of that, building my own music library and getting Nextcloud or something running. Anyway, that's not what today's video is about, so let's get started with the Google Play services. Just to show you that I don't have them running right now, I'll try and open the Google camera, and you'll see just nothing happens. It freezes, locks up, because it's looking for those Google Play services. So we'll swipe that away. So to get it running, you need to visit Graphene's website. Uh, I'll put a link to this specific part of the page in the description. All you have to do is download these three files. So the first one is com.google.android.gsf, which is Google Services Framework. These also must be installed in this order. Uh, if you read through this article, it tells you exactly how to do it and what's going on, but we're going to cover it here. Uh, next one you install is com.google.android.gms. Next one is com.android.vending. Now, the trickiest one is the last one. The android.vending is the Google Play Store, and it's a split APK. So I'm going to show you what I've done to kind of make it work a little bit nicer. So what I do is it's in my downloads folder here, but I have the base gms.apk, base gsf.apk. And first thing, as according to here, we're going to install gsf, hit install, App installed. That one does not take long to install at all. Then we hit base GMS, install. This one tends to take a little bit longer. Uh, it can take several minutes, in fact. So we're just going to sit tight while it finishes installing. Okay, it's installed. We're going to hit done. Now I'm going to show you what I did to kind of organize my files. I made a new folder within this folder and just called it G Play Store. And I put all of the split APKs that are required to install the Play Store in the same folder. I suggest everyone do this because if you have a lot of stuff in your downloads folder and you might have more than you think, it can be difficult to track down these APKs when you're using the split installer to do it. The application that I am using to install the split APKs is called AEE. -E. It's available in the F-Droid store. All you have to do is search AEE -E and it will show up. 
it will show me all of my installed applications. What we want to do is at the bottom hit APKs, select from storage, download, and then Google, and then G Play Store, select all of the split APKs, hit select, hit install, hit install, and just wait. And it takes it a minute. It actually takes less time than it did to install that GMS. Um, but it still takes a minute or two. All right, it's done. Now, the only option here is to hit cancel, which is weird, but I think it's just, you know, it's an open source application, but so we'll just hit cancel. It is installed show you down here and this is the last step this is actually pretty important otherwise things won't work as they should you have to open up the play store and this is what kicks off the process you want to hit sign in and it says checking info checking info and at this point you can make up a google account if you want to actually use the google play store to install applications or this is enough once it's done checking info you can just close out of this and then everything will start working. So we are going to launch the camera again. Give it a second. I have had times where I've had to reboot the device, especially if I, uh, if I installed the camera after the fact. So what I may do instead is go in, uninstall the camera and then reinstall the camera. I just wanted to show you guys that Google Play services weren't running and that it wasn't working prior. So let's go back into my file explorer, go out a level, get the camera. Yes, I want to install the camera. And there, now we'll hit open and it should launch. Yep, so we want to allow it Sure, only this time. Deny location. Deny recording audio. Yes, give it access to files. Okay, dismiss. Oh, shoot. Did not mean to do that. I actually do need to give it access to some things. No location. Yes, you can record audio. Okay, talking about motion photos. Looking at my feet up on my desk here. So... You can see camera quality. I mean, it's Google camera quality. It has night sight. You can do astrophotography, all that cool stuff. Video, you can see it's got, I'm shaking the phone around. It's got optical image stabilization. It works exactly like the Google camera does on stock Pixel devices. So it's really cool. If you need Google Play functionality, it's here at your disposal in Graphene OS. Uh, I do not. I use all open source apps, like I said, except for Spotify. And people talk about making compromises with these ROMs. Uh, there are no compromises for your privacy. Um, now, I am fortunate in that I never got sucked way into social media. I did have a Facebook at one point in time, but I have gotten rid of that uh, several years ago. So um, I'm all clean as far as social media goes, except for YouTube. But luckily for me, that's accessible on the PC. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, make sure you leave a like. If you want to see more content like this, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm working on getting channel memberships up and running on my channel if you want to do that. I think there's a way I can give you guys more control over the content you see if you're paying some money. So that's pretty good because that helps motivate me to make the video as well as give me video ideas and you get access to my knowledge on the subjects. Anyway, thanks again for watching, and I will see you in the next video.